My name is Emily Kelly. I am the sales manager for Bullerong Press. Unfortunately, we have not yet had the opportunity to meet. And due to these challenging times, it might be a little while before we do, which is why I have embraced the use of today's technology to bring you this presentation. I have only recently started with Bullerong Press. Bullerong Press is a printing and publishing company that began back in 1976 to provide Queenslanders with an opportunity to have their manuscripts printed by a Queensland-based company. Today, it is owned by the Kelly family. This presentation is going to take you through in a little more detail about some resources on how to teach the cognitive verbs. Our author, Patricia Hitwell, has had an extensive career with over 40 years experience in education, specialising in literacy and consultancy. Patricia has written eight resources to help teach the cognitive verbs and support the literacy learning for students across different curriculums. Patricia has also written a teacher's resource that provides teachers with 300 ways of hooking students into learning at the start of every lesson. There are several reasons why Patricia has written these books. As a mother and teacher, Patricia has dedicated her first book, How to Write What You Want to Say, to her daughter Elizabeth. The inspiration for this book being the embodiment of a student who, does, who knows what she wants to say but can't find the words. Another reason Patricia has written these books is that the Australian curriculum is a skills-based curriculum to Year 10. The skills are the words and use of cognitive verbs. Patricia's resources provides parents, teachers and students with a unique tool for improving writing that is linked to the Australian curriculum. In addition to this, with the coming edition of external based assessment, Patricia feels it is imperative that we ensure these skills are taught and not assumed for children to succeed. And therefore, teachers need a range of practical ideas, strategies and activities grounded in theory to assist them with teaching literacy in their classrooms. And lastly, given the current environment where, t where parents are homeschooling their children, parents appreciate ideas and ways of assisting their children's literacy development at home. Now we move on to the student resources. The first and most commonly used resource with over 60,000 copies already sold around Australia is How to Write What You Want to Say. This book provides students with the language they need to write for a range of purposes. The book aims to provide students with a starting point to say what they want to say using the language that a mature writers use. The book is set out in a double page format. The first page defines the writing skill and provides the sentence starters to demonstrate that skill. The second page provides words or phrases for connecting the ideas within and between sentences. An example of the skill in a short piece of writing and the key task words linked to the skill. How to write what you want to say. A guide for those students who know what they want to say but can't find the words. Provides parents and teachers and students with a unique tool for improving writing. It suits students from the middle years of schooling to tertiary level. If you'd like to know more about this book, please click the link below to have a look inside. The second student resource, How to Write What You Want to Say in the Primary Years. Written in conjunction with Catherine Black from Literacy PD, this guide is for beginning and developing writers in the primary years. It is a starting point for students to find the language they need for many purposes of writing. The book is also set out in a double page format. The first page has a definition of the writing skill, key task words that link to the skill, and the sentence starters for that skill. The second page has the words or phrases for connecting ideas, an example of the skill, questions and graphic organisers to help with planning for writing. How to write what you want to say in the primary years, a guide for primary students who know what they want to say but can't find the words, provides parents, teachers and students a unique tool for improving writing. If you'd like to know more about this book, please click the link below to have a look at the first chapter. The third student resource, How to Write What You Want to Say in Mathematics. 
The aim of this book is to improve the sophistication of the writing that accompanies or supports mathematical arguments and investigations. There are two important aspects to writing correctly in mathematics. The mathematics must be accurate and the writing must be grammatically correct. Key features of mathematical writing conveys factual information, assumes an educated audience, has a formal academic tone, often uses the past tense and passive voice, avoids personal pronouns, contractions and cliches, is impartial, includes evidence, uses mathematical terms as a mean and coefficient, includes symbols, tables and visual images, is a precise and concise form of communication. If you'd like to know more about this book, please click the link below and it will again take you through the first chapter. The fourth student resource is how to write what you want to say in science. The aim of this book is to improve the sophistication of the writing that accompanies or supports scientific experiments, investigations and arguments. Scientific writing aims to offer solutions based on theory and observations. There are two important aspects to writing correctly in sciences. The science must be valid and the writing must be grammatically correct. Scientific method is a well-established approach to asking and answering questions about the natural world by observation and experimentation. It involves posing a question, undertaking background research in order to make predictions, constructing a hypothesis based on predictions, testing the hypothesis by experimentation, analysing the experimental results, drawing conclusions, reporting. The first part of this book demonstrates the forms of writing used to describe these processes. These sections can be combined to form a comprehensive scientific report. If you'd like to know more about this book, please click the link below and it will take you again through the first chapter. So why do these resources work? As mentioned in all of the descriptions of some of these books, each book provides cross-curriculum examples of the skill in action. They have the language used to demonstrate the skill. They provide graphic organisers to structure students' thinking of the skill. But most importantly, each of these books provides lesson reinforcement by the use of practical examples. And lastly, and most importantly, the real proof of the quality of these books is the almost immediate positive impact its use has on the way in which students write. We have a series of testimonials from different schools and literacy teachers that have used these books throughout their schools with students. Please feel free to read a few of these testimonials at your leisure. The last book I'm wanting to introduce you to is Hooking Students Into Learning. This book is all about lesson reinforcement. The book has been written to provide teachers with ways of hooking students into learning at the start of each and every lesson. It contains almost 300 ways of doing this. The book is designed to be used by teachers in all curriculum areas from year four upwards. It contains a plethora of ideas that can be adapted to any curriculum area. In the book, the term relevant or subject specific content is used a great deal. This is because skills are always best developed in the context of use with content that is relevant to current areas of study. There is little point, for example, asking students to do an activity that develops their sentence writing skills using information on ancient Greece when they are currently studying the Black Death. The symbiotic relationship between content and skills means that teachers often have to develop their own resources because this enables them to focus on the skills using relevant and current content. Variously referred to as warm-ups, lesson starters or hooks, the activities in this book are excellent ways to switch students onto their learning. In this book, the activities will be referred to as lesson starters. Their purposes include moving key facts and figures for short-term to long-term memory, activating prior knowledge about a topic, awakening interest in the topic of the lesson, checking for understanding, improving a variety of skills, 
developing learning strategies, improving vocabulary, developing collaborative learning strategies. The focus of many of the activities is to increase the amount of reading and writing we require students to do. Also, students need to develop their vocabulary in all areas of the curriculum, and many of these activities have been developed with this in mind. If you'd like to know more about this book and want to take a look inside at the layout, please do so by copying and pasting the link below into your web browser. Well, that concludes my presentation. If you feel like you have enough information about these books and would like to purchase them, please do so by going to our website, www.bullerongpress.com.au. Alternatively, you can also purchase your books through your education distributor. However, if you would like more information about our resources, please don't hesitate to contact me directly. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to our presentation. We at Bullerong Press look forward to hearing from you soon. And please stay safe in these challenging times. Bye for now.